Praise God, saints. Praise God, saints. You know, it's good once again to come to come to get a word, to hear a word, to be able to uh, go through this day, this day. You know, and I just want to thank God myself for, for another day that he had kept us. He kept us from all harm. Not only that, but he kept us with a righteous mind, a mind that want to do right. Now, who can say, I got a do right mind this afternoon to do what he say, to be obedient to his word. And I just want to tell him thank you. Somebody ought to just wave their hands. I know I can't see you, but just wave your hand and say hallelujah, hallelujah. Because it is a good time to be alive, even with everything going on, the chaos and the turmoil and the, and the chaos and turmoil and and all the drama, it's just, it's just still good to be alive because we got a God. Oh, that love us even in our mess. He love us. Even when we don't love him back, he still love us. Oh, and that's just awesome. But to be in love with him, good God, I'm about to say, oh, ain't that sweet. Oh, ain't it sweet because the word said, taste the Lord. <laughs> taste him and see. Mm, well, then he going on and saying he's sweeter than the honeycomb. Oh, ain't it good today just to be in love with the Lord. But I just want to tell God, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to come before you. Thank you for my pastor and, and uh, his family. Thank you for the congregation of, of the church, my sisters and my brothers. But I'm, you know, we sisters and brothers everywhere. So we are, we are in one body. One church, one body, and that's the body of Christ. And we all are supposed to be on one accord, and that's the good thing about it. We all supposed supposed to be on one accord. But tonight, we gonna find out that exactly where we are. Not only are we gonna find out where we are, but we gonna we come to encourage. We didn't come to beat up, tear down. We come to encourage you to let you know that you are not in this by yourself. Because we got a God that has carried us and has took care of us. He never left us. And I just, I'm going to tell him thank you for us tonight. Because <laughs> it's good to be alive. Amen? Well, right now we're going we gonna to go ahead and get into our service to the Bible study tonight. But I'm going to go ahead and do a little prayer before we go. Because I want to acknowledge him in all thy ways. For I need his help along the way. And Father God, we come before you this afternoon. Lord God, come telling you thank you. Thank you for things being as well as they are. Because when we think about it, it could have been the other way. You know, somebody left, we could have been gone. You know, but I thank you. Somebody's sick, but we could have been sick. Lord God, but I thank you, God, not because we are that good, but because of your grace and your mercy, Father. It keeps us. It keeps us, Father, and it, and it shelters us and, and, and builds a fence and a guard around us, Lord God. We want to say thank you. Thank you right now, Lord. We, we're going to say or uh, ask you to bless those people that's down in that, in that storm that came through Mississippi, Alabama. Oh, God, I, I heard some of them say we need help. Oh, God, so anybody can, can help in any kind of way. But it's one way I know we can help, and that's pray. Pray, be on one accord, touching and agreeing. Good God Almighty, God will do something. He will answer prayers. He will fix that situation. He will fix it in the name of Jesus today. And I just want to tell him thank you. So, Lord, help now. Help with this word. Let it go out. I come in to do what you say. You open my mouth, and you will do the talking. So you know what your people want to hear or what they need to hear. In Jesus' name, amen? Amen. All right. We're going to start off the service. It's gonna be, we can try to go and stay in one place tonight, but we're going to talk to you a little bit. We're going to talk to you a little bit. We're going to do like a teacher do. We're going to talk. But we're going to go in our scripture for tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to be Isaiah 43. Isaiah. 43, get your book out if you want to take some notes or write a scripture down. Whatever you need to do, we want you to be encouraged tonight. 
We want you to feel like you're not alone tonight. We want you to feel like you got somebody or something you can lean on in Jesus' name. All right? We're going to get started. Isaiah 43 and 1 says, But now, thus said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, and I will call thee by thy name, and thou art mine. Good God Almighty. He created us, he formed us, and then he, he redeemed us, and then he called, called us by his name. Now we're his. But right, two says, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For a third say, for I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel. Thy Savior, I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia. And Seba for thee. Oh, God, we thank you for the reading of your word there. We thank you for the reading of the word. But I really want to take my text, uh, not text, but it's something I want to highlight coming out of, of verse 2. When thou pass through the waters, I will be with thee. Through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. Thou shall not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. And I, I, I've, I've thought about it, and I've thought about it, but it, I had to quit thinking because it came to me. And if I had to say something that sort of make it line up tonight, it would be God, never leave, never forsake. God, never leaves and never forsake. Okay? We're going we, we, he never will leave us, nor will he forsake us. You know, his, it, 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 it's, it, I know if anyone, I know we have, somebody done been left before. And God forbid if you got left in a, in a, in a, in a place where you didn't know nobody or you didn't have a ride home. Oh, my, my, my. That was a, that was, that was, that was a situation there. That was a situation where you, you alone, didn't really know nobody you could talk to or, Get to do nothing for you. That before the cell phone come out now, but you couldn't get nobody, in, and you felt like you was alone because they had left you. People that you rode with, the people that that's supposed to be up with you, and y'all up and down together, they left you. That well, that that that's a that's a bad feeling. That that's a bad feeling. And then 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 after they done left you, they they uh, 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 forsake you. They abandon you. Didn't want to have nothing else to do with you. Lord have mercy. They didn't want to have nothing else to do with you. They deserted you. Deserted you. Well, this afternoon, people, I've come to tell you that God will never leave and nor will he forsake you. He, um, he, I don't care what you do. I don't care what you say. I don't care where you go. God will not leave you. He go, why would he not leave? Because he loves you. He loves you. He loves you so much that Jesus even died for you. He died. So if you're going through something, you're going through something with this uh, uh, pandemic, you know, it's, I, I believe it's almost going into two years we've been going through this. We even, with the, even with the with the election going on, we we had that going on first. Lord have mercy, and and, and then we had the pandemic come along, and uh, and then we had our own personal uh, things going on in in our communities and our homes, and you know it it, it it was a lot came quick, fast, in a hurry. It came upon us, and here we are, are people that once. We was looking to God. We was praying to God. And most of all, we had faith in God. We had faith in him. We believed that he was going to take care of us, and we were standing on his word. But it reminds me, I don't want to get too fast in my lesson tonight, but it reminds me when, when, when Peter 
seen Jesus walking on the water. It reminds me uh, when he seen that, how I'm using this as how we were. And we just, God was doing good things. He was doing good things. Miracles was happening. He was blessing people. This all over two years ago. He was blessing people and everybody just going in their own way. And they, was, and they were looking to God. They were asking God for certain things. And, but somehow, when Peter seen God do all them good things and we were seeing God work and, every, and you was getting what you wanted, doing what you wanted, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all this come upon you. All this come upon you. And you, you was just getting started, just getting started on, in, in coming to Christ. You was getting started. But when that happened, we had our eyes, we had our mind set on Jesus. But when that happened, like Peter, Peter got out there and he was, he was he said, he said, Lord, bid me to come to you. Lord have mercy. He was he bid, he bid now. He bid me to come to you. And he stepped out that boat and he went to walking on that water. And he was doing good. But I'm just using that as an illustration of what happened. What happened? He was doing fine. Long as he kept his mind, uh, his eyes on Jesus, but when G, but when that storm got to blowing and that wind got to, when the wind got to blowing and and the clouds got to roaring, he forgot. He took his eyes off of Jesus. He took his eyes off of Jesus, and when he took his eyes off, look at what I'm saying. When he took his eyes off of Jesus, he started to lose his footing. He started to, he, he started to lose his footing, and he went to going down. But you know it's good to know, <laughs> Lord have mercy, that you got enough in you that just in a twink, Peter said, Lord, save me. It's good today, people, to be able to know that you serve a God. When Peter fell, he didn't leave him. He didn't leave him, nor did he forsake him. So I come today to tell y'all, look, whatever you're going through, whatever you are going through, right now, it ain't, ain't, it's nothing too hard for God. And his arms are not too short that he can't reach you. I, I, I just wanted y'all to know that. But, but we're going on with the lesson now. And the lesson said, wouldn't it be great when we, when we became believers or Christians or children of God and all our problems and fears and worry and disappointment, we didn't have to go through it. We didn't have to. Wouldn't that be now? But not so. That, that's not so. God has never promised. a problem-free Christian life. He didn't promise that. He didn't pro In fact, the promise assumed, this promise assumed you will face times of deep water and fire. This said when, with this being said, he didn't say when, he, he said when. He didn't say if they come. He said when they come. Amen? You will pass through the waters, and your walk with Christ does not isolate you from life's problems. However, it does keep those problems with God. God will deliver you. If you keep, see, these are promises. He give us promises. And if we stand on his promises, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. Like I said, it don't matter what you're going, you're going through, because he, he said we were going to have trials and tribulations. This he said. We're going to have trials and tribulations. So we're going to go through. But it's, you know what is good to know is that God said he would never leave us, nor will he forsake us. He loved us too much for that. He, he loved us too much for that. And it is an encouragement to every believer today that you be to 
that God be with you during your times and hard season. When you know God with you, that's encouragement. When you can look and see yourself coming out of a situation, when you can look and see your, yourself rising up, when you can look and your pain is gone, when you can look and that issue, that problem in, the, in your home, you seeing it beginning to straighten out. When you know God is with you and you believe and you have faith in God, God will bring you through the water. Amen? Amen. God is not surprised now. I'm going to tell you something. God ain't surprised about the flood and the fire that come into your life. He's not surprised. But at the same time, you will pass through them because, you, because your God is with you. And if God is with you, you believe in having faith in him, he will bring you out. Glory to God. It's, it, it's good to know that I want everybody to just think about this for a moment. Just think about it. You have been in situations you have been sometime right now with all the pan pandemic and the loss of loved ones and 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 sickness going on and and everybody feel like they're so bound bounded bound bounded or in bondage because it don't seem like you could do nothing. Anything you do is it seems that, that everybody it makes it sound like anything you do is gonna kill you or hurt you. And and you and you begin to get fear about it. But let me ask you something. Have we ever been this way before? Have you ever been this way in your life where you went through some things and it almost it hurt you so bad it feel like your heart was going to bust? Has anybody been there? It felt, it, it, it felt so bad you, 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 you thought about killing yourself, suicide. Has is, is you ever been there? Is you ever been there? Well, let me tell you something. That same God that delivered you from them feelings, for that, from that situation, from that issue, from that problem, that same God, he'll do it now. Because he's what? He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He's the same God. We all done been, we done, we done been here. And the, and the good part about it is when this epidemic come along, it sort of put a, put a, sort of separated us, sort of pulled us away from God. We, 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 we couldn't stay with the word. We didn't, wouldn't want to call. We were listening to too many other things. We, and we let that get in our mind and get in our head, get in our minds and get in our heads and get in our spirit. That's where it messed up at, when it got in our spirit. Then we went to, went to easing up. Oh, went to listen to TV too much, listen to the uh, Facebook too much, Instagram too much. We just locked in on it. And there's one thing I know about that for myself. If you lock in it on too long, it'll jack you up because you won't know which way to go. You don't even know what to believe no more. But I come to tell you tonight, you can believe that one, that never leaves, never forsake. You can believe him because that's what, that's what he want for us. He do not want us. In the, in the, in the word, he said, I do not want you to perish, but I want you to live. And not only live, but I want you to be prosperous, and I want you to be in good health, and I want your soul to prosper. That's what he wants. So if, if he wants that for us, and he won't leave us. I don't care what we do, what we say. He won't leave us. He's going to keep standing there, standing there with his hand, arms open wide, telling us, begging us. He ain't going to beg you, but bidding us to come home. Because he ain't going to make you come. He ain't going to make you if you ain't ready. So you got to get in a position to be ready. If you're going through what we're going through right now, people, and it's, it, it is hurting you, and you feeling alone, you feel like nobody loves you, you hurting so bad that, 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 that you can't even think straight, and you're getting depressed, and you're, and you're getting anxious, and 
Anxiety sets in. Oh, my God, my God. Oh, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar tonight because we got a Savior. I don't care how far we go from him. He still won't leave us. He still won't forsake thee. Them his words, not mine. He said, I'm not going nowhere. As long as you got life, you got hope. And if you got hope, you got a time, you got a, a time, or you got time to make up your mind what you're going to do. Because it ain't about him. I want Daryl to understand tonight, you, God, you are not waiting on God. You're not waiting on him. He's waiting on you. Well, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to know you ain't got to do nothing. He said, surrender, give up, repent, and come on. Don't worry about what you're doing because I'm that God that I'm going to stay with you. I'm going with you through the flood. I'm going with you through the water. I'm going with you through the fire. And when he go through with you, you ain't got to worry about coming out. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleading tonight to come on, let, come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't, if, if you're hurting and if you and, 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 and of a law, cause of a lost one, a loved one, if you're hurting, come to, come on in, come on in. He, he, he's your strong tower. He's your buckler. He's your shield. And he's just ready. He just, he just, oh, he just want to take you in his arms and he want to hug you and he want to love on you. Good God Almighty. He want to love on you. That rub, the rub, you put that salve on you and that love, that I call it salve. He always want to rub and comfort you. So I want you to be encouraged in that. You are not by yourself. You are not by yourself. You, even after what you've done, some, some, Lord have mercy. Sometimes we feel like we are not worthy. And you know that, and that's a good way to feel. Because I thought about one time, well, everybody, everybody is worth something, but worthy, being worthy. And I wonder why we, we, we sometimes when we look at God, because everybody knows, even the devil knows who God is. Even the devil knows who God is. And, and, and if he knows that he's not worthy, that's why we shy, and that's why we do things in the dark, and that's why we sort of stand in the background and stand back. Because if you ain't doing something, pleasing to him, pleasing to him, then you don't want to be in front of him. Do that, do that, is, is that right? You don't want to be in front of him. And I, under, and I was saying to myself, you know, I understand that. You know, I understand that because God says that he's holy. He's holy. And if he's holy, and he tells us in the word that we must be holy, to be able to see, to be able to see him, to be able to be with him. We must be holy. So he makes us worthy. Through his righteousness, he makes us worthy. Oh God, I I don't I, I, Lord, thank you. Thank you. That's he makes us worthy. That's why he's such a good God. That's why he don't leave us. He don't leave us in the in the mud. He don't, he don't, he don't, we might fall in there or oh, cause of our own doing our own doings, but he won't leave us in there. All right? The flood. The flood. The flood promise, this is a promise from God now, from the word. This promise represents water. Represent water. It represents being overwhelmed. Sometimes you feel like you're drowning because the problem of lives can come over you like a giant wave and all you see around you are problems. Say, during these times, remember, you are not alone. Just like God led the children of Israel through the Jordan River, a flood, at a flood stage, he will lead you, he will keep you, and keep your feet secure in the rushing water the turmoil, and he will lift you up just like he did Peter when he began to sink. He lifted him up. He lifted him up, people. The fire, the fire, it represents destruction. There will come times when you will suffer loss. It may be in a relationship, 
It may be in finances or a thousand other ways. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. But what once was is no more. What once was, yeah, 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 you, you might have lost. You might have lost. But what once was was no more. Why? Because God has, has come in. He didn't leave you. He, he, he came on. He didn't leave you. While you went through with what you was going through, he was right there. He was walking with you. He was talking with you. He was telling you you were his. You was his. He said, back up in the, in the first verse, he said, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. See, he done redeemed thee. So while you're going through, he said, I redeemed thee. So I'm not going to leave you when you're through trouble. I'm not going to leave you while the, while, the, while the water's trying to take you out or you're trying to drown. I'm not going to leave you. I'm going to be right here with you. When you go through that fire, when you go through the fire, I'm going to be right there with you. He was right there with them Hebrew boys. He was right there with them. The, the, the king, why they, the, why, when they wouldn't bow down to that pagan king, they wouldn't bow to him. God was there with them. And the good part about it, the good part about it, when you know that God ain't left you, when you know that he had not forsaken you, this is what's going to make the difference. Because I believe in that, in, in, in that the, the Hebrew boy says, uh, says, I know that my God is able. I know that he's able. And even if he don't, I know he can. See, now, 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 that's, that's having faith in God. That, see, that's having faith in God. And, and that's what I'm telling you tonight. Have faith. God hadn't left you. God hadn't left you. And for whatever you do, whatever you do tonight, please, please, don't drop God under the bus. Don't leave him. Don't leave him. Because he is the one going to save you out of that situation you're in right now. He's the one going to save you. So you just keep on holding on. Do you hear me? You just keep on holding on because God is going to make a way for you. He is going to make a way for you. You know, and I, I, I went back over something because I want, want you to be able to, to get what I'm saying. In certainty and fear, remember God is with you. And in, when uncertainty comes, remember that God is with you. He did not leave you. So when the fire comes, and everything is gone. <laughs> God will be with you. And I'm asking you right now, do you have the faith in him today now? Today. To believe God and to believe that he's there for you. Do you have enough faith for that today? And see, don't, 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 don't just give up. Because I tell you, I, I know that we're all in this together. We are all in this together. And when God get ready, because we all got a set time, set place, when God get ready, then, then you make up your mind. So you got to make up your mind. You got to get your heart fixed and your mind made up and say, you know what? When I was with God, I was, I was, I was doing awesome. When I, was, when I was going to church, when I was listening to that word, when they was praying over me, when I was praying, thing was good. But somehow or another, the old enemy, he creeped in on me. Because I've got a little slack. I got a little sloper with his word. And not only the ones that were coming to church, the ones out there don't even know God. You know something going on, but you can't put your finger on it. But I come to tell you tonight that even though you where you are. God still loves you. And he wanting you. He's standing here waiting with his arm wide open, telling you to come on. Come on. Now, whatever you've done, don't you worry about that. I got to take care of that because I told you I was going to throw it in the sea of forgiveness, uh, forgiveness and never to be remembered no more. So what he wants you to do now is you forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Get that shame off of you. Glory to God. And you come on. You come on. Because until we come, until we come, people with the strength, the anointing, and the power 
and the Holy Spirit come together on one, then there won't be a change. So there's got to be a change. There's going to be a change. Because I remember what he said, in, and, and I hope I ain't going too far out of the way. I remember what he said in, in, in Isaiah. He said, uh, 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 a man is here for a few days. But his life is what? Full of trouble. That goes back to what he said. There will be trials and tribulations. So don't let your trials and tribulations beat you down when there's somebody there that would uh, further the further down in, in, in Isaiah in that. He, he said, he said, wait. He no, he didn't say, he said, I'm gonna wait till my change comes. So all you got to do is wait on. Be patient. Don't fret. Don't get anxious. Don't get scared. Because he did say he didn't give us the spirit of fear. But of love, power, and a sound mind. So all you got to do is just wait a little. Just wait a little while. Because well, well, I don't want to get left. God, who's going to leave you? You might leave him. He ain't leaving. He done told you that. I never leave. I never forsake you. So you got to you got to stay with him. You have got to stay with God. You got to stay with him. Lord have mercy. All right. He knows what you're going through and will lead you through the flood and fire. He will give you peace, faith, and even joy amidst the problems you are facing. Good God Almighty. You know, you, you, you know, you, you you ever see see people that 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 that, that this is what where the enjoyment come at? You ever see people? I don't care where you see them. <laughs> I, they just look like they don't never have a problem in their life. Do you do, do you do you see people like that? They every time you see them, they smiling or they grinning and they just moving around and and and, 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 and it's good to look at people like that. Cause you wonder. What is it? What is it? It's them going back. It's them serving the one that never lead them. It's them that's serving the one that never forsake them. Our God. The God of God. Lord of Lords. King of Kings. Him. He never leave them. And they look so content. So contented in their lives. That's God. And if you want that, he got the same thing for you. He got the same thing. Oh, believe me, we all done had trials. We all done had tribulation. And I heard, I heard a preacher say one time, he said one thing about all of it. Either you're going in it or you're coming out of it or you're in the midst of your crisis. But know this, you shall pass through. You shall come out. This is what I want you to know tonight. This is what I want you to know. All right? Now, before we go any further, I, I just want to read that one more time. 43 and 2 says, When thou pass through the waters, I will be with thee. This is a promise that God gives us. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. They will, your troubles will not overtake you. It seems like it at times. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to say. You don't know what to think. But they never overtake you. You still standing. Why are you standing? You are standing because he said he redeemed the deed. He redeemed it you. So you're going to stand. And not only that, he said, I have called thee by thy name. So he don't call you. He say. Thou art mine. We belong to him. So when you're going through, when you're going through, that's why sometimes you go through, through, the, uh, uh, through the fire. He said, thou shalt, be, thou shalt not be burned, and thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Good God Almighty. That means you pass through. They can't hurt you. Can't nothing do you no harm if God on your side. Huh? With God on your side, he's more than the whole world against you. And that's saying it. He's more than the whole world against you. So tonight, y'all, let's stay with him. 
Let's get back to him. Let's get back to that God that won't leave us. Let's get back to that God you can count on. That God that 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 loves you. Let's get back to him. Get out that old that old way we got now because we are so unstable in this in this country, in this city, in the town, in the homes. Just let's just just oh my God. Let's just stay with him. Grab on to him. Hold on to him. When he leave, you leave with him. When he leave, you leave. With him, not from him, but with him. Glory to God. In Jesus' name. All right. So now I'm, I just want us to confess a few things, and we're going we gonna, to we gonna call this quits. So, the, so tonight I, I just do a few confessions, and we'll just speak this to yourself. God is with me when the water of fear and uncertainty comes. God is with me when the waters of fear and uncertainty comes. He will protect and rescue me from the flood. Good God Almighty. He will protect and rescue me from the flood. Say that to yourself. When I'm overwhelmed and things have fallen apart, God is with me. God will lift me up from raging waters and give me peace. And I know that's what everybody, you want peace in your mind now. You want peace in the mind. And the reason I like this, this story right now is all of us is in the boat together. Either some is right there, some right there, some right there. But we're all looking and we're all going through something. We're all going through some, some the, the one that's mature in Christ, they're going, they doing better. They're doing better than us, the ones that is not as mature. But one thing about it, the only reason they way they got mature, they kept going. So I'm telling you tonight, if you want to get mature in God, just keep on coming, keep on going, keep on praying, keep on praising, and keep on worshiping God. Hallelujah. Just keep doing that if you want to go in Christ. If you want to get mature where when, when the wind blows, you don't worry about the wind. You pull your coat off and relax. You hear me? You don't worry about the thunder roaring because you're at peace. You got a calmness in your spirit. And the reason you got it because you with that God that never leaves, that God that never forsakes. That's why you can stay calm. It don't bother you. It don't rattle you. See, we got this is where we got to get. Because the least little thing come along and scare us and put fear of it, it's not God. That's not God. So we got to get past that. Don't leave the one that never leaves. Amen? Amen. All right? All right. Psalms 46, 1, 3 said, God is our refuge, our strength, and he's a very present help in the time of trouble. Look at there. Look at there. God is our refuge and our strength in a very present in this, I, I'm going to say in a time of trouble, in a time of troubles, God is a very present help. He won't let you down. Do you hear what I'm saying? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous, look at that now. Look at that. He said the righteous runneth into it and is safe. Good God Almighty. Now you trying to tell me after we have distant ourselves a little bit from him, hallelujah, distant ourselves a little bit from him, he still loves us. He still wants us to be that what he created, he created us to be. And he, he don't leave us. He don't leave. But he's right there, a very present help in the time of trouble. Amen. I got one more. Uh, well, I've got another. 31, Deuteronomy 31. 31, Deuteronomy 31 and 8. And it says, and the Lord, he is it that does go before thee, and he will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Good God Almighty. Look at that. Lord goes before us, 
In other words, he makes the way. He makes the way. He goes before and he makes the way. And he not only that, he'll be with thee. He'll never leave you. He will not fail thee. Ain't no failing in it. So you ain't got to worry about that. Neither forsake thee, neither abandon thee, neither will he desert thee. So fear and forsake thee. Fear not. So you ain't got to be upset. You ain't got to be uh, skittish. That's what you used to call it when you're a little scared. You ain't got to be skittish. All you got to be is stay firm, stay focused, believing that God is who he say he is. Amen? Fear not and be not being dismayed. Don't let it be a shock to you. Don't let it be a shock to you tonight. Stay with God, people. If you ain't with him, you done slid back. He said, come on, come on, come on back. Come on back. Uh, 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 Jesus Patterson song of Psalm one time says, says, uh, 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 Lord, I'm coming home. <laughs> no more to roam. You're standing with your arms wide open. Lord, I'm coming home. So that, that's, that's where it got me. If you don't slip a little bit, you don't stumble a little bit, God still love you. If you don't believe like you used to, just say, hey, Lord, help my unbelief. Help my unbelief, Lord. Lord, forgive me. That's all, That's it. That's it. Just hold on. Just hold on. We're going to do another. Joshua 1 and 9. Joshua 1 and 9. I have not, I commanded thee, have not, I commanded thee to be strong and of good courage and be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whatsoever thy goes. Good God Almighty. Woo. Mm. I had, he said, have not I commanded thee to be strong and of good courage, confidence, <laughs> whatever you do, <laughs> wherever you go, whatever you say. You, you, can, you can say it with, 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 with confidence. You can say it with, a, with, a, with authority. <laughs> you can be a good courage. You ain't scared. So you, you won't be afraid. Neither be thy dismayed. Ain't no surprise to you. For the Lord thy God, he said he was with me. Go say he was with me. He was with me wheresoever thy goest. Good God Almighty. Ain't that good? That's good. So now, now, that he letting you know right now that he, he, he should, he's not going nowhere. He is not going. He's going to be with you when you go through the flood. He's going to be with you when you go through the fire. He's going to be with you when the water try to overtake you. He's going to be with you. A God that said he'll never leave you. A God that said he'd never forsake you. Lord God, we go, I got two more and we out of here. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And it's going, I'm going to try to do 20, 20 or do the Romans and four. For the Lord your God is he that goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. For the God, for your Lord God, is he that goes with you. Now, ain't he more than the whole world against you? Don't he go ahead of you and make the path? Good God Almighty. He goes with you to fight for you against your enemies. Now, 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 like I say, whatever the last two years has done to you, as far as keeping you from God, for keeping you from praying, for it's keeping you from leaning on you, whatever he brought that depression on you. Glory to God, that's your enemy tonight. Depression is your enemy. Huh? Anxiety is your enemy tonight. Huh? That's what it is. Worrying is your enemy tonight. Uncertainty is your enemy tonight. But God is saying that he will fight for you against your enemy. 
Your enemies is anything that deter you from paying attention to him, anything that deter you from serving him, anything that deter you from doing what he say is your enemy. He's the enemy of God. So he's your enemy because you love God and God loves you. Glory to God. Glory to God. And that's where he's, he's going to fight against your enemies to save you. Now, he's going to save you. Okay, we're going to. We, we, he going, Lord have mercy. I, 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 I say, y'all better watch it. Better watch it because that, that word is good. It's good all by itself. Don't need to mix nothing with it. If you take it, believe it, it'll get down in your spirit. And my Lord, you, 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 you want to do something. And that is praise God. Praise God. 41 and 10. Isaiah. 41 and 10 in Isaiah. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea. I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. He got you. He got you. I just wanted to come and encourage you tonight to let you know that you don't have to fight. He said he fight against them for you. He will fight them. He said he go with you. His fight, his fist, his blow, it could do more damage than you could ever think about doing. And then what I love about it, he doing all this to uphold thee with the hands of his righteousness. You ain't got nothing to do with it. All he wants you to do is to come Believe that he is the one that never leaves, the one that never forsakes. Well, I hope that it was a, it was a, a, a word in there that would make give you something to think about. They tell me you get if you if you got something to think about, you're gonna think on something. You're gonna come up with something. But what I want you to come up with tonight is to come back. Come back. Turn around and come back to that place you was. And when you come back to that place you was, God will elevate you a little bit higher because you have been through the flood, you have been through the water, and you have been through the fire. Well, Lord God, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you for your word. We pray that your word had the anointing, had the authority to go out and conquer that what you sent it to do. Because it was your word. And I give you the praise for it. And I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you tonight, God, for being who you are, what you are. And God, we give you the praise. Thank you for never leaving us. Thank you for never forsaking us. In Jesus' name. Once again, thank you.